Hello, hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Ola BC from STS Global Education, and I'm here with Josephine, one of our students currently studying in the UK. She's here to tell us about her experience so far um, studying as an international student in the UK. And mm. we helped her from application up to the state where she got settled in the UK. And also at STS Global Education, just a quick reminder, at STS Global Education, we help students, we provide support from application process to admission, interview, up to the stage where you are settled down in the UK or any other study destination like Canada and Europe. So, um, Josephine, are you ready? Can we start? <laughs> yes, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're fine today. I'm just in my country. Okay. Yeah. Okay, welcome. So um I'll start, we'll start the session and after I'm through. Sorry, after we are through with uh questions and all the discussions, then you can um, send your questions in the chat box and um she will respond to you. Okay, so let's start. Um, what, what motivated you to study in the UK? Yeah, that's a good question. Having been to UK a couple of years ago, um, this is not my first time in the UK, I must establish, uh, establish that. But having been here a couple of years ago, seeing for myself the environment, one, the academic structure, two, and one crucial thing, timing. The day you give an admission in the UK on your admission letter is stated when you are going to finish. The day of your graduation is already set. So it's not like um, back home that you enter school, only God knows when. So they have a planned program and they stick to it from beginning to the end. Number two is that the mode of study, the way they teach, the mode of um, teaching too is another thing. They, they believe more in practical based teaching. You will learn, you will see. You will, they, will, they will assist you to know and you will lay your hands on it. So all those um, factors are my motivation <laughs> because um, come to think about it, ordinarily you will look at it that uh, studying abroad, studying at home is far cheaper, yeah. But it has more advantages, not just for you, but even for your future. And you, you will agree with me that carrying the certificate from um, schools from UK, US, Canada, you yourself, you know what, um, how would I call it? Even though it's not normal, but all of us, we, we tend to have, uh, employers tend to have a kind of partial uh, preferential treatment towards people that study abroad. That's another thing. So you don't want to find yourself in the discriminated um, uh, uh, um, um, settings. You understand? Yeah. You, you won't want to be a mistress that's discriminated about. So that's another thing. And even if you are somebody that is thinking of um, the future of your home, not just you in person, yeah. in places like this give you opportunity to have a double citizenship, not just for you, but for your children as well. So those are the uh, things that motivated my thinking to come back there for study. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I would like to know what was the cultural differences or what culture shock did you face when you got over to the UK? Cultural differences definitely that <laughs> Yeah, even starting yeah. from the way we dress to theirs, the way the kind of food we feed on to theirs, even our pattern of doing things, that's all what's apart, I must tell you that. But you know, life itself is an adventure. So it, um, it, it adds more value. You understand, there's no way with time you'll be incorporating into the ideas. Let me take for instance now, I'm speaking normal Nigerian English now, isn't it? But there's a way you switch over, they will say, oh, British accent. You understand? So you can say, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't just got the opportunity to do They thought they swallow it. That's a culture, that's something to learn. 
And sometimes it can be so sweet to, to, to listen to or to speak. You understand why sometimes it can be so frustrating. Your employer or your lecturer is saying something, you're saying padding. You are talking, they're saying, can you call me again? Because they're not hearing you. So there are two words apart, but you know, it adds values because you can't, you, you, you tend to imbibe new things into yourself. So, but from the way we do things and there's, there are two different ways. I must just um, agree to that. Okay, then, um, studying over there, how are you coping with? I know you, you are working as a student. So how are you, yeah. working, how are you coping with schooling, going to work, having time for yourself? Because I know students only have 20 hours per week yeah, yeah. to work. So how do you cope with all this? Once you resume school here, the first thing they teach you mm -hmm. is time management. It's a formal teaching. Okay. They teach you how to manage time. And that, that's the first few things that we teach you first. Ability to prioritize, ability to manage your time, ability to know what to be done at the right time. So, and UK is so flexible that you can decide the way you want to run your life. Take for instance, now I can decide I don't want to, I don't want to work during the day, I want to work during the night, which is not possible back home. You go by your employer's stop. You can decide, I just want to work two hours there, one hour there, two hours there. It's possible here. You can decide Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't want to go to work. I only want to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's possible here. So you are not banned. So which make it the flexibility, make it uh, very easy for you to strike a balance. And your school days have been slotted two times a week, three times a week. Max, you will have to go to school three times a week. So two days out of seven days, you have five days to clear around. Your place of work to work yeah. just 20 hours a week, you may not need to work more than two days, as it were. For me, I only work two days. So I have the whole three other days for myself, for other studies. Most of I work in the night. So I have my five days to myself. So I think uh, that flexibility has really helped so many students to navigate and good time management. You really need it. So those are the things that has helped in balancing work life, studies, and for those of us that even have family life as well. Thank you. So, um, so if I understand you correctly, um, um, in a week, how many days do you go for lectures? Maximum, See every day. I, I know here in Nigeria, if it's not every day, it's maybe three times in a week. So is it blended learning? Uh, how, is, how is the lecture like? Does it give you enough time to work, to, to do other activities and all that? Definitely. Magzi, you will mm. go to work as a um, one-on-one -on -one classroom. Here is two days. On rare occasions, three days. And there are some lectures mm. that they will even give you the opportunity to take either online or you want to show your face. So all that has really Magzi, Magzi. Magzi, you will go is three days. Magzi, and that's Magzi. So most times it's always one, two days. We've seen time that it's just a day, just one day in a week, but Magzi between one to three days a week. So you have all that time to, and there's some courses that they will give you opportunity, either you want it one-on-one um, one -on -one, or you want to do a virtual learning. And um, another thing, the structure of the academics, you can even book time with your lecturer one-on-one, -on -one, just you and the lecturer, if you feel you are struggling. It's possible back home anyway. And the lecturer will attend to you, tell you what you don't know, and even when you are given assignment, you're given what to do, you get confused. You call the lecturer, I need to book a time with you. You mail them. They will create time and tell you what and what and what and what to do. So making feeling very slim, except you are just being complacent about your studies. Yeah. OK, so how's the teaching style like in the UK compared to Nigeria? Yeah, I've said it. It, uh, we can't compare it. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for that statement. Even though some private universities yeah. back home are really trying, but um, they're still coming behind. Because starting from the environment you're studying in, as you're entering 
your school environment. Mm. There's, there's a way things have been um, 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 uh, organized. The structures you will see around, the pictures around mm. is telling you you are here for learning. Everywhere quiet. You are going in as if you're going in for a conference. So the environment itself is sending a signal to your brain that you are here for, for something serious and relaxing. So they make it so much that the environment is relaxing. So even absorbing complex things is not is not difficult. So and um, they, they they have good respect for time. This is another thing I need to tell um, uh, yeah. intending students. If your lecture is nine o'clock, you don't enter class nine o five. They will tell you that is rude. So lateness is rudeness. So you 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 yourself you must be in class, and most times you will find out that your le nine o'clock lecture, your lecturer is ready there by eight thirty. So what will make you not to be there? And one thing is, you can ask questions over and again. They will never say no. And they give you, they tell you where to get resources. Resources are the, the, there's library, systems, books, as much as you want to explore. There's no limit. Yeah. So comparing okay. the two, okay. still a fine. So, so I'll ask you. Mm. <laughs> okay, so um I know you currently study in Birmingham. So what's yeah. the living expenses like in terms of accommodation, feeding, transportation, as a student, how a self-sponsored student. So how is the expenses like for you? Yeah, let me just be truthful at this point because people feel um, it's a bit difficult mm -hmm. for sponsored students. I must tell you that. Uh, because your school fee, if you are self-sponsored, ensure you have um, at least a good percentage of your school fee somewhere. Because don't think it's what you work for, that 20 hours work, that's what you will use to pay school fee within one year. It doesn't work that way. That's where how some students end up being frustrated. But, and don't think you coming in, it's just immediately you got job. It doesn't work that way as well because there's some registrations you need to do and some things to do but on the average accommodation in Birmingham ranges from 400 to 500 pounds a month presently depending on the location depending on the kind of accommodation we have shared accommodation we have a um, self-owned apartment depending but you know it's um not all that bad okay just pass as a student you have some privileges Yes, your bus pass, you are not paying the same thing like every other person. Like in a month, average bus pass here is about 140 pounds. But as a student, you'll be paying like 48 or 49 pounds. So there are so many considerations for students. So that one helped a lot. As a student, you 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 may not need much space as it were. You can pair with another student, you slash down the accommodation. But on in all, once you get that 20 hours work, you are sure of being able to pay your accommodation you are sure of being able to feed yourself feeding food is the cheapest thing in uk i would tell anybody that's if yeah, you are not yeah. comparing it to nigeria anyway because now if you go to shop you want to buy bread and they said one pound fifty one pound fifty back home is about three thousand five hundred you'll be like this more bread nah so you have to delete that mentality as you are getting to the airport you understand but coming so the, the normal setting food is the cheapest thing in the UK. I must tell you that. We buy a crate of egg for how much? We buy a crate of chicken for two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. You understand? So if you can really, and if you're not extravagant in your spending, what you are earning for that 20 hours in a month is enough to pay for your accommodation, is enough to pay for your transportation, is enough to feed you. But the stress will come if you are expecting that 20 hours to pay your school, the balance of your school fee. So you, you need to have a backup, on, honestly, because uh, bridging, you can do as much hours as you feel, though, but you know when you finish, you want to renew your uh, visa for post-study, that's when you will have problems. They will not tell you not to do more than 20 hours, but you screwed, you keep, you keep to it, because once you're able to keep to it for that one year, 
18 months or thereabout that your program runs. After that, they give you two years to work as long as you want to. So even if you take a loan, you'll be able to pay back. Thank you. Yeah. So um, what are, did you face any challenges adapting to um, the, the UK lifestyle over there? <laughs> Definitely, there will be challenges. And let's start from the weather, anyway. I, I think I came in in the peak of... Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, let's talk about that. I came in the peak of um, summer. That was June, when summer was just landed. As of 10 p.m., everywhere will still be bright and sunny. You will still see sun yeah, outside yeah. 9 o'clock, 9.30, till around 10. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm deceived to go to bed. It will be as if it's still afternoon. And one of my needs will say, why are you sleeping in the morning? It's not hot yet. You, mean, you don't need to go to bed. It's still sunny. You understand? Before you know it, by the time you eventually, the weather is dark, you want to go to bed. Before you know it, it's 6 o'clock again, you are running. You understand? But it's still better. And take, for instance, now we are in autumn. I'm inside the house. You can imagine I'm in Cardigan. That's another thing. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, you can see where it's when it's raining. So the two, there are two different ways. So the weather is something. And the winter is still coming that by 4 p.m., the weather is already dark. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's interesting when we say the challenges, oh, yeah, that there are some things that are adventure, just like I said the other time. So you can still get out around nine during summer, taking selfie. Hello, everyone. I'm still enjoying myself. You understand? Other things, uh, um, let me talk about transportation. Unlike Osho, the Adegula things that you just want to go out, you go out anytime you want. You get a bus, you go your way. There are buses there as time. Once the bus leaves, oh, you will wait till the next one. I've seen time I cry at the bus stop. I must be so sincere with you. When I've got class, I've got appointment, and I was just a few seconds, I'm seeing the bus passing, and it will not wait. Once the guy kicks, they will not wait for you. You wait for the next one. So. That, those are is part of the things I went through. Number three, sometimes, even our language sometimes, because some of you may face that, you might talk sometimes and they will be like, you, you can imagine as I'm talking, somebody calling, you're talking like this and they say, give it to somebody that speak English. So what am I speaking? Me, uh, you're asking, English, yeah. exactly, they will say, please, can you give the phone to somebody that speaks English? So what am I speaking? <laughs> Meaning your ass, my accent, they are struggling to get it. Did you understand? Yeah. Only to make somebody feel inferior. No, they don't mean to make you feel bad. Just the way you two would talk and they will be like, can you come again? I've, I've experienced that in the class that we ask questions and the lecturer will be like, just think, can you come again? Because they didn't, yeah, they will come closer to me. Not just me, me, I'm still better. Some people's accent is terrible. It's more localized than my, anyway. So, but those are the things. If I said there is no challenges, there are definitely. And the work can be so cumbersome because of the mood of um, like masters, especially, they would they always tell us it's assisted learning. So they are not going to teach you like a kindergarten. So you yourself must do some extra work. I've seen majority of my time last semester, I leave school around 8 p.m. in the evening because I need to do more. Wow. Yes. I would have gotten to school since I was eight in the morning. I leave 8 p.m. But it shows because some of my results, most of my results are out. I score as high as 91.6. I score as high as wow. I have some something. You understand? But it's that you that extra you put, that's what makes the difference. They've given you all you need, but they will not use their hand yeah, and so do it. Yeah. So those are the things. So for every challenge, yeah. every challenge, there's always a way out. If you have made up your mind, and the most important thing is your mindset about it, it's all negative. Sometimes those challenges you check them yeah. as food. You understand? Oh, can you give it to somebody that speaks English? Yeah. Oh, thank you. English is not my first language anyway. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. And that's it. You don't need to break down under it. Go your way. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So I, I. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really understand you. I, I would also like to know, um, after you got to the UK, how long did it take you to get a job as a student? Two months, three months, yeah. one month? Mine was exactly, was exactly two months. Yeah. 
And okay. you know, I said it earlier, okay. some people oh, might be earlier, depending on the situation, mm. depending on what you can do. It's not as if I've not seen things through. Really. You must know what you can do. Don't just say, I'm looking for a job, and you just got something, and you just jump on it. At the end of the day, you will not be able to perform. There's some sector I don't even look for job in. Like I'm working yeah. in the health setting because mm -hmm. I'm a medical uh, personnel from home. So it's easy for me. It's challenging. Yeah. I work mainly nights, but I'm built up that way. I've practiced in that, in that profession for almost 18 years. So it's easy. But somebody that's been in the academics, that their night is always on their bed, you know, for people like that, it's so challenging. So all I'm saying is there's no speculated time. Some people get job as fast as three weeks of coming. And I've seen people that are there for good five months, they've not gotten something to do. You understand? So depending on what you're looking for, depending on and some locations, there are jobs in some locations than the other. So that's another thing. So there are some places you will settle in that there yeah. are jobs and other places that so students go as far as staying in a particular location that their school is working in another location where there is job. So and you know transportation is easy, there is yeah. loss, there is, there is work. So it's, it makes movement very easy. So job. So uh, yeah. anything from two, three weeks, you can get job, and it can be as late as four, five months, depending on the information yeah. you have. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so it, it's, it's advisable that before leaving Nigeria, you should know, you should have skills, you should know sure. your strength and weakness, so that when yeah. you get there, you just, yeah, yeah you, you can easily do so. yeah. Yes, and also, uh, yeah. there was something you said now, Yes, yes, so that it's easy for them to get a job. Then there was something you said, I've, I've forgotten. When I remember, I'll ask. Let but let me just this. ask this one. Okay, for let, me this. let me add this. Skill, you mentioned something very crucial. Please get skills. Yeah. And skill as driving hmm. will give you a good edge here. Here making will give you liberty. You may not need to look for job. You have some skills. As far as tailoring, as in Fashion designing, as simple as it looks, you may be a boss of your own. They, they, they earn you more money than the normal regular jobs. I have some regrets because I kept postponing, uh, I, I kept uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, procrastinating, learning how to make hair. Now it's paining me to make the hair on my head. This my hair is about two months plus. And to make it again now is 70, 80 pounds. So you are talking about, I must have about 160,000. Just to do Ken roll. you know what they call Ken roll. Plat is back with just attachment. The one on your head, just fixing now, you'll be thinking of 100 pounds. So any skill you can learn before leaving, please do learn. It will really help. It will really help. It will help. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, you, what I remember now is that you said location also matters. So yeah. um, for location, I know we have students that need to listening here, which locations do you think you can recommend for students to like, apart from Birmingham, what other locations yes, for jobs? I will, say, I will say, number one, considering from Africa you're coming, except your course is so tied to school in London. Avoid London. Yeah. In the sense that it's expensive. And number two, um, job search may be a bit difficult. You understand? But anything outside London might be of good, um, whatever. Like Birmingham is already okay. Coventry is a good place to enhancing. And don't let us forget when I say job search, it, living expenses first. You understand? So normally, living expenses outside London is always cheaper than inside so it makes it that getting job in those places people are playing today so the same thing with job creation you understand but if your course states you have to be in london it's fine but anywhere can be a place depending on the kind of job as well but there is a job that is everywhere that's like care job there's some common jobs everywhere so but as you are entering you yourself and when you go online you will see 
shortage, whatever, whatever, whatever. And information goes a long way. Please relate. Please relate. It may be your fellow student that we know, oh, so 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 place is hiring. Go there. You understand? You will need that relationship so much. Because, and especially people that have been here, try and create one or two links. You understand? We are just going, as a newcomer, you cannot know it all. But like me now, ask me now, I can tell people, I, I give out some link and it's working because I've been here. So I can tell you, go to Susu Place, I'm sure my employee, this and this is what you need to do. And let me tell you about this, interviewing UK is another thing to pass their interview. So you need to make connect, you need to connect and create a relationship. So, but anything outside yeah. London is still a bit uh, a preferable option. Thank you. I, I feel for, for students that will be studying in London, they yeah. can live outside London, they can I live believe. in the outskirts of London because, oh, yeah, because transportation in the UK is still not connected mm -hmm. and time yeah. management is key. So they can live outside London, then work yeah. outside London, then just yeah. go to London for studies, then for exactly. jobs outside London. Yes, exactly. so if they do it that way, um, living expenses will be cheaper. Like yeah. I know if they live in hard people, uh, high recall and um, surrounding areas here, yeah. okay. um, living there yeah. is affordable. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So um, quick one for students that are looking at studying in the UK, um, what advice do you have for them? I will tell them they should give their dream a push. It's something that is achievable. It's something that is possible. And you don't need to have everything you need for the journey. You understand? Because some of them might be feeling, some might have it, but some may not have it and really have it as a dream. So you don't need to have everything set. So give it a push. It will worth it. Not just for you and even for your children if you decide to stay. We've had people, we had enough people that came as a student that today they are full, -time, they are full citizen. We have people that came in as a student that now um, um, company heads here that have seen. You understand? So it's what it's hundred percent worth it. But you know, mm -hmm. you need tenacity. You have to give it a push. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So, um, everyone listening, if you have questions for Justine, please type it in the chat box so she can respond. Thank you. Yeah. And we've talked about everything. Okay. We didn't talk about so, it. So, um, another question. <laughs> I said we have talked about everything. We didn't talk about STS. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was going to that. So, um, Justin is one of our students that um, I think you came in for May intake last May. So, yeah. we helped her, yeah, we supported her from application, from, in fact, from school search to application to admission, um, interviews, precast interview. I remember they also did the interview with UKBI and. Yeah. <laughs> We kept on waiting, waiting for your visa to come out. Yeah. We supported her for um, for interviews and um, uh, yeah, up to the point where she got settled in the UK. So if you are looking at studying in the UK, just like we did for Justin, yes, we are here two four seven to uh, give you support also. So someone is asking, I think Andrew, why? We like pick UK over another country. Oh, that's a great question. Um, why picking UK over other country is the number one? UK, if we look at it in their ranking, UK is still one of the top most ranked you know, um, uh, university provider in the whole world. You can check that out. Number two is that um, being a pure ignorant english land there is an hedge and you can the, the certificate is recognized um, in so many continents and number three is uk has the highest blended cultural division you will see people from all over the world here 
And another thing is so many courses are here in UK that you may not get in any other country. They have some plenty of courses. Like me now, I'm doing human resource, um, international business stroke human resource management. It, they have blend of things like that that you may not find in some other countries. I have tried admission in Canada at least, and um, I have siblings in Canada. I have in US, you understand? I'm not saying there's too much difference, but there is an edge. There is an edge. Even though it was that a bit more expensive, but I think they're still uh, UK still and um, timing is a very good one. Yeah. And UK student admission processing is easier. Yeah. You know, if you have to do Canada, it's six month bank statements running. But UK, one month, 20 days, you are gone. So their, their processing is straightforward, honestly. Maybe Adebisi, Adebisi can testify to that. It's very, very straightforward. Once you can meet the criteria, you yourself can say what percentage of success you have in getting your visa. I don't know, maybe we get that, yeah. Yeah, so um, Kate White is asking, what about staying with a family member, member in London while studying in London? It's advisable. Yeah, it's good. But I will not forget to tell you. Um, I've seen over and again people scattering, family members scattering because of bill payment. But if you have somewhere to stay, why not if not? I'm not saying London should not. I've lived in London before. London is not a no-go area. You understand? But if it's a thing you need to choose. You understand? And don't forget, it's just like we're talking about Abuja, staying in Abuja, Port Harcourt, and staying in like um, Kaduna State. Did you understand the cost of living? So you are talking about London as your Abuja and staying in Maitama in Abuja. I don't know if you get it. So it, it, it's um, the way the whole thing is structured is the most expensive place to be. So it means the, 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 the spoon you will buy Super, the same product, like one of the designer products here is Primark. The same product of Primark you will buy outside London for two pound, you will buy inside London 10 pounds because of location. Do you don't understand? That's the way it's designed. It's not a bad place to be. If you have the what it takes, why not? If not, and if it's a must, that it, that's where you got admission. I'm only saying that if you don't have a choice, that your school must be there, there's a way to play around it instead of turning it down. Did you understand? London is a good place to be. And if you have accommodation, every other thing is secondary. Yeah. 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 I, I feel London is in, since London is the capital of England, uh, yeah. there they are a lot of industry connections in London. Yes. If that's where you get admission or maybe your, your um, tuition fee. Um, or your budget for your tuition fee can yeah. carry London. It's a good yeah. place to be. But sure. you do not necessarily need to move in London, yes, because I have a student that is studying at Regent College London, but she does yeah. not live in London. Yeah. yeah, her lectures is just twice in a week, so she just mm -hmm. go for lectures or days yeah. for lectures, then go back to where she stays because she got the job outside London. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be in London, but if you have a family, like she's asking, you have a family staying in London, and at least yeah. you know you won't be paying rent. At least rent. they will be able please to take you off for that. So of sure. course, why not? Please, you can stay there. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I I also like to know your studies in Ulster University. How is it? How is yeah, Ulster is a good place to be, and I'm lucky. The um mm -hmm. the class I fell into, we are just 13 in class, just one and three. Wow, so, small class. Yeah, exactly. It makes the studies easier, and um, you know your lecturer, your lecturer knows you, and um, it's 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 yeah. reduced difficulty in learning. So. Costa is good, honestly. And another thing is, just as close you will be, that to see one Africa will be difficult. 
not Oster. We own Oster. <laughs> you understand? And uh, don't forget, I said, you need to relate. So it's up. Like there was yeah. a time I was having some challenges with my academics. Is one Bini guy that came to my rescue. You understand? You see people that looks like you, that you can ask questions. You understand? Even though, like my class now, we have about um, three different continents, as more as we have. We have about three different, but you know, all of that make a good blend. They will not put just pure African in one class. No, they will mix you people up. But the fact that you can open the door and see your brother, you are the corridor, you are in the coffee area, you are hearing somebody saying, Wait, what's up? Hello, Shelly and Ben. You know how you feel when you are far away from home. So that is all stuff for you. Yes. <laughs> so, like in your class, how many Nigerians are there? Yes, we are five of us, funny enough. Oh. But funny enough, we didn't hear each other's language. We have evil, yeah. we have Yoruba, we have another land. So, but at least we have five. Uh, Nigerians in my class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that's good to hear. So, yeah. uh, what's the distance from campus to where you stay? Is it far? Okay. How do you put mine is about, Okay, mine is about Magzi 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. I take two buses. And um, if I decide to trek, that, that, that it, it, it's not trekkable. Truly, but there's a way I can break the journey. You understand, but it's maxi 30 minutes to my school. So even if I leave home, if I have lecture for most times, and your lectures will not start too early. So like most lectures start 9.30, you understand. So even if you go on night shift, you are back home eight o'clock, you go dress, come up and stick up, go to class. So for 9.30 lecture, I leave home around 8.45, around 8.45, nine o'clock. So, and I'm sure I'll so, be. Oh, so it's not like Nigeria where our lecturer speaks lectures early in the morning, late in the night, never in the evening. That's never. That's wow. Never. Never. 9.30 and Magzi oh. classes finish 4.30. In rare cases, mm -hmm. if you have a lot to do, it may extend to 5, 5.30. But normally classes finish and that class of four o'clock, if your class is stated to finish by four, by 3.30, your lecturer is done, they free you. And you have break in between wow. as well. At least minimum of one hour, one and a half hours break. Even in, 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 in the midst of a lecture class, you will have 15, 15 minute break that you can walk around, you can stand, walk around, come back, take coffee, drink water, stretch your leg. So it's not... Do and die there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, oh, that's that's good to hear. Um, I don't know if anyone has questions again. So, in the absence of questions, so so we won't take much of your time. I'll yeah. say thank you for taking time out to attend this session. I think someone just sent a question. Okay. okay so, um, Cheung is asking that what advice. Will you give international students on how to manage their finance? How to manage their finance? Hmm. Uh, that's a great question, honestly. Uh, because some of us came here and we forgot the way we came. They want to be like the owner of the land, and that's where they run into trouble. Just like I said, they are so considerate that even the clothes you wear, they have shops for average people. You understand, like what I'm wearing, you can get this in some shop for five pounds, for example. And there's some shops you have to, you will go to that it will be 30 pounds. So how will I, as a foreigner, the same product, the same good, now go to that other one? I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm talking about practical things that kills Africa in this land. So they want to, Go for the designers. That's that the time is coming when you wear designer because by then you are making their money, you are using their money to pay them. But when you are still coming with a whole lot, did you know how many thousands you will gather for you to have just hundred pounds? You understand? So knowing how to live a moderate 
expense, a, a expense to live within reach, as in maintaining a, a moderate living expenses goes a long way. And another thing is the food you eat, that we have horses market here. You can put together with all the students that you go and buy horses. What they will sell in normal market for 10 pounds can be just three pounds in horses market. The only thing is that those houses market does not open every day, but you can pull it together. Two of us, oh, you, you want to, you want three, you have saved something. And another thing is there are things that you should use. You know, it's a story. I don't want to go into some details, but maintaining a very moderate, I'm not saying don't look good. I'm not saying don't eat well, but don't live, uh, living an extravagant life here will run you into trouble because even the owner of the money, they have respect for the money. So they don't just spend. So, but you see Africans, they blow it up. Yeah. So, uh, students so should learn to live within their means. Exactly. Maintain a very moderate um, cost of living as much as you can. Okay. So, anyone with questions again? Okay. So, um, in the absence of any more questions, um, we'll call it a day. Thank you, everyone, for joining this live session. And thank you, Josephine, for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. And um, we hope you start your application very soon. So you start your studies in the UK, hopefully for January 2025. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.